subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon to get new video notifications hello guys this is Praveen from automation studio hope you guys are doing great uh, in this video we will uh, discuss about uh, web driver agent uh, with the setup so first we will discuss like what is web driver agent why it is necessary we will look into the APM architecture and then we will go toward the installation part first we will set up XUI test uh, setup in our Mac machine and then further we will we will uh, see like how to uh, install uh, web driver agent in iOS machine so let's start guys and um, uh, in order to understand this video you have to watch my earlier video I will keep the link uh, within the description box and then it will be easier for you to find out the earlier video what I have posted it was almost a month back okay so let's start with this so here we have the APM architecture screenshot so I have managed it from Google and uh, finally I found like uh, in the way I want it so it is uh, very much clear so how does uh, the APM architecture looks like so we'll discuss over here so at the top if you are able to see web driver script so what is that it is nothing but the APM libraries which you will use at the time of uh, coding for the iOS uh, APM script or Android APM script which you will download the ZAR from the fr from the web so these are called as a client libraries so it it contains just uh, methods like let's say if you are dealing with uh, with touch event so you can you will be using like click operations or you will be um, uh, using the send keys operations or such, such things so such things will be under the client libraries then after this um, you will be able to see like there is apm server so whatever the when you will run the script so whatever the calls um, going through your client uh, will be transferred into the APM server and then APM server will contact with uh, a, a unit test drivers so like uh, if it is related to the iOS then it will transfer into the XUI test or if it is uh, related to the Android then uh, UI automator will come into the picture it will transfer uh, to that particular um, agents after control going to APM server then APM server will decide like for which Android iOS I need to push it then APM server will transfer the instruction into the XUI test and then XUI test uh, will proceed the commands into the device so what is XUI test over here um, it's a unit testing framework so previously uh, uh, Apple was using your UI automator and I think they have stopped it from the version of 9.4.3 I guess and after that they have um, used the core libraries as XUID test libraries and uh, uh, with the new things they have developed uh, like WDA which is known as web driver agent and uh, that is project is developed by Facebook uh, guys and also uh, APM team is contributing into that and uh, this is nothing but a web driver agent which sits in your uh, simulator or your iOS device and uh, it contains uh, it generally takes your um, whatever the command you will uh, provide in the scripts and uh, then it will transfer into into your main application where you want to uh, execute it so XUID um, a driver sits within the web driver agent so that's why web driver agent is necessary because so uh, your script uh, web driver script will communicate to the servers and server then communicate to your web driver uh, agent and then web driver agent will communicate to uh, your application so this is how it works in the case of iOS in the case of Android how does it work like you obviously you, you will write the test cases by using the libraries um, APM libraries and then your control goes into the APM server then it will goes to UI automator and then UI at automator will proceed uh, to your device or your simulator where your boot strap.js uh, is exists and then it will decide like where to uh, on which app it has to call because 
uh, the app settings and everything you will define in your capabilities uh, what we have learned in our uh, earlier video and then uh, the main application will get uh, launched and whatever the operation you want to perform it it gets performed so uh, this is how a framework or architecture works internally uh, this is uh, this is very necessary to understand because uh, until unless you won't get this knowledge then uh, you will be wondering like why we are installing the web driver agent into configuring into our xcode and why does we need it so when you will uh, it, it's a, just a small project so you have to just uh, for your fresh device you have to set up it for once and then once you will set up it and you will install into your device or emulator or simulator and then you can use it for the multiple times it depends if you are um, uh, changing the version of ios from let's say from 9 to 10 or 10 to 11 that in that case you might um, need to uninstall the previous version and then install the new version but uh, if you want to uh, be on a same uh, you have to test your script on a same ios uh, version then there's not a problem just one time you can install in the new uh, simulator or new um, uh, device and then uh, you can run your test cases so uh, that's how it it will work so now let's uh, let's uh, focus on the xuid uh, test setup in the uh, in our ios machine so what you need to do you need to visit first this link which is of apm xu i test driver and here is the official page and here are the dependencies you need to uh, install uh, lib mobile device which we have already done i device installer and other couple of commands so you can see that only works for ios 9 for ios 10 see below and then you need to install Carthage and iDevice installer doesn't work with iOS 10 yet so you need to install iOS deploy so here is the command for the iOS deploy and for the real device if you want you have to install the X pretty as well so now what I'm going to do I'm going to open my terminal and from terminal I'm gonna execute one by one all the commands few of the commands I have already installed in the previous video so that's I'm not going to um, install those things again like Carthage I, um, I device installer and lib mobile device so I will start with npm install minus g iOS uh, deploy so well this is a npm command npm means node and node is not in installed yet so let me search for the brew uh, command for um, the uh, same like ios uh, deploy it is available or not let's see in the google and let's go to its official page um, there may be yes so this is the ios deploy official page so let's see how can i install it so yeah i have a command brew install node so i need to install first brew install node then I can install npm install minus g minus g means globally so that other users can also use it okay so let's go to terminal and uh, first install the node so I'm installing here node with the help of pre command so let it will once it will get completed then we will move it to um, iOS deploy by using the npm command so now the node is installation is done so let's try uh, npm command for ios deploy let me clear it and now try it so guys i am um, using here uh, admin credentials so i am installing these all um, uh, things using admin credentials so make sure you have to install this um, everything uh, with the admin credentials so now ios deploy is done so let's visit the page again and here we have gem install xepretty so what is that this for real device we can use xepretty to make xcode more output more reasonable so it will give you the nice output so let's try it so now um, xepretty is also done so let's clear it and let's see what we have now i think we are almost done with this so whatever the information we needed in order to set up the xc ui test driver we are 
done with that but if you want some additional information about that you can further scroll down and read about that now let's ready our WDA agent for our device so just visit this page this page will show you how to configure your iOS device for WDA agent setup so the prerequisite what we want we have done this just you need to install the uh, npm iOS deploy that, that is also done yeah just now we have done it uh, let's scroll, scroll further it is showing you a lot of information like how to do it using Xcode um, which we are going to see right now but the important thing is full manual configuration so here uh, these three steps are very important so first you need to find out where is your APM is so my APM is um, I'm using here desktop APM not I have not I'm not using any APM which is installed under the console so I need to go to this location and then uh, further I need to open the web driver agent project uh, which is a Xcode project so I'm going to my APM uh, I, and I need to find this location so let me find it because it depends uh, machine by machine so I just went to applications and right click and explore as package into the APM and now um, I will find where it is located okay so I go to the folder so it is pretty much simple here and the second uh, point it is given the location the first point is for uh, the command line APM which I am not using I am using the desktop um, APM so now we will try mkdi mkdir minus p uh, command which will create a, a directory and uh, after that we are going to open the xcode project um, so let's do this first so i open the terminal let me drag and drop web driver agent folder and just enter so it will let me uh, go inside this particular folder now i can <coughs> now i can uh, execute this command let me let let me select it and paste over here and enter so first first command has been executed oh these are the two commands so which i have pasted in one single shot okay so the first one is executed second one is now executing so it is also done so now what we will do this is done so let's go to our page and further we need to open web driver agent xcode project under xcode and then we need to uh, build these two target web driver agent lib and web driver agent runner so here are the brief step has been shown which we are going to do so let's go to this folder and find out uh, the project so let's open it it will open in the xcode and it will take some time okay so xcode is launching now and also our simulator is ready there okay now click on web driver agent then it will load the setting which is general setting and now click on automatically manage manage signing tick mark on that and just click on enable automatic okay so now uh, if you have the provision certificate then it should show your name over here but uh, as it's for my personal thing so it's not showing anything here so I need to click on add account and here I need to mention my Apple ID okay so you just need to provide your uh, Apple ID and then <clears throat> password and then it should show under the drop down yep so just select it and uh, now what you need to do uh, just you need to build the targets so whatever the targets is mentioned over there just you need to build it with your credentials or Apple ID credentials so let's do it so let's first select the in integrity app and then uh, select the simulator audio device 
and then try to build it so let me do it yep here it is x4 iphone xr let's play it now let's see what will happen it will take some time i guess okay so now let's have some patience something is going here and now it's going to launch in the simulator it might take some time so okay so um, this application wda application is, has been launched on the simulator without any error so it works good so now let's try the runner so let me build the runner as well because this done so next uh, one target is the runner so let's do the same with the runner as well let's play it now wait and let's see what will happen okay now it's done it's passed without any error as well nothing is launched uh, i guess it works like that so let's uh, move ahead now let's run the test case again and let's see how does it work so i'm just executing the same test again i'm just running it and let's see how it will goes it should run fast as compared to our earlier video and without any error and as many as time you want you can run it without any issues with the earlier setup the issue is with like it uh, the x unit driver was not set up correctly that was not the correct way but that video was just for the troubleshooting so here you can see it's working like a charm and now you can run your apm test cases multiple times without any delays or error so every test see the test cases has been passed and everything works good so that's it guys for this video i i, I hope that uh, you you must have enjoyed this video and you have liked this video because we have talked a lot about on the uh, from the apm architecture to for the wd agent and how does it work so it's really necessary to get the idea about how does it work then only you could uh, you can understand like uh, what you are doing as a part of a setup setup process and why it is really needed so if you like this video then please um, give a like and uh, uh, you can put your comment in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel and uh, forward it to your friends as many as you can thank you guys see you in next video